finger is it, there was a piece of plastic that had broken and come up and I just whacked my finger as I was going like this with it. Now, <laughs> I can't believe I have to use one of these and I'm gonna tell you why. I just was scrolling and I saw this thing, this guy said, Johnson and Johnson is the worst. There's forever chemicals on this. On the pad that you put, <laughs> the nonstick pad, there's forever chemicals. And because we have an open wound, the chemicals can go right in. And the adhesive also, my eyes are watering because the wind is blowing. When will it end? When? <laughs> I guess, and <laughs> I'm gonna put some alcohol. I'm just gonna, ah, uh, no. <laughs> ah. It's just a never ending issue. Forever chemicals, bad things going into our body to kill us. Well, that's the ultimate goal, I guess. Alcohol dries fast, doesn't it? Wow. Wow. Oh. But this is the only kind I have. Here we go. I'm gonna kill myself forever. <laughs> okay, so which way do I, I know. I hate it when it's near the end of the finger. I'm gonna put it this way, but please have a better suggestion. Suggestion. Okay. Okay. I can feel them going in. Oh, kidding, but I'm I'm just I'm getting really bummed out with all of this chemical thing. Okay, back to my <laughs> back to my thing.
Now, I'm not going to tape it under my bin because it's broke and I, I taped the inside so um, to, to keep it together. But um, I'm not going to tape the outside because I don't want tape getting in my car, you know, like black stuff. But anyways. The yellow jackets are really out right now. Um, it's that time of year. They know that, that winter's coming soon and they're gonna die. So they, they're really aggressive right now. Uh, last year, I read about them because last year at this time, uh, I got stung three times and it's, it was horrible. A lot of you sent me remedies because I told you about it while I was out here. And I tried most of them because I had the, the, the stuff that I, you know, like baking soda and stuff like that. But it's still, it was still bad. It itched for, and tickle, tickle, tickle for like a good three weeks. It was really bad, yeah. Um, but I got the water going on here too, so yeah. But I did, uh, another thing I wanna mention is about organization. I mention it all the time, I'm so organized. Um, I went and got my tape, and you saw me get my tape because I saw that there was a crack. I knew right where it was. I know I have it handy because that's something I use a lot. I cut my finger. I needed a Band-Aid. It, it took uh, 30 seconds to go get my Band-Aid. I know where everything is. And here's what I've noticed. And I watched some of my friends. And they spend so much time looking for things. They're just looking for things because they don't know where they put it. And they're so crammed in into their rigs that, um, especially in a minivan, that they they just they just put something down, and they've got way too much in there. And I've mentioned this before. If you can't find something, if they can't find something, what they do, what you tend to do is go buy it again. So now you've got double in your in your minivan. Okay, because you're not organized, you got way too much in there. And you don't take the time to go through it like I do. I go through my van twice a year at the beginning of every season. And I say in my life, I have two seasons. I have fall and winter and I have spring and summer. Those are my two seasons. Um, but I know right where everything is, but I've noticed, and I just had a friend up here, and I'll tell you, um, it took a long time to find things. And then finally I asked him, I go, well, did you find that the empty one? He goes, no, I can't find it. So he opened a new one. <laughs> I know it's okay. It's okay. Um, you know, everybody can run their own life and do it exactly the way they like to do it. Right. I mean, that's the way life should be, but it's not the way I want to do it. Oh my gosh. No, that, that would drive me, um, that I wouldn't feel good about uh, doing that because <laughs> you end up carrying way too much with you. So my suggestion is my tip of the big tip of the day is organize it, get, get everything out of your van and organize it. Okay. And then know where everything is and go through it at least twice a year and get out what you don't need. Right. Um, I try to put everything in the back and bury it back in the back of my van and bury it. Things that I just know I don't need on a day-to-day -day basis. 
but if there was an EMP or a shit hit the fan situation, I know that I can tear things out and get down in there and get it. Like my bug out bag or um, just, you know, like extra food maybe or something like that. Yeah. Um, my uh, water filters, um, if I need to filter my water. So, yeah, I mean, you have to have a system, but you have to have an organized mind for this. And I understand that some people don't have that ability to organize. I am misorganization. I can see something and know exactly where it needs to go. And if I, if I have something and I know that I already bought it, but maybe I can't find it, which is unusual, um, I, I will take the time to keep looking. I really will. So, and I don't carry too much with me. So there's your tips. Yeah. Yeah. Stay organized. Don't keep buying things over and over and over again, you know? And, uh, yeah. There you go.